After months of volatile Islamist protests on the streets of London, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Jeremy Hunt, in the very first item of his budget speech, announced that £1 million of taxpayer money would be spent on, wait for it, a memorial for Muslims. As we mourn the tragic loss of life in Israel and Gaza, the Prime Minister reminded us last week of the need to fight extremism and heal divisions. So I start today by remembering the Muslims who died in two world wars in the service of freedom and democracy. We need a memorial to honour them, so following representations from the Right Honourable Member for Bromsgrove and others, I've decided to allocate £1 million towards the cost of building one. Whatever your faith or colour or class, this country will never forget the sacrifices made for our future. Yeah. yeah. What a fucking waste of money. What on earth is Rishi Sunak's desperate speech last week, during which he highlighted the threat posed by Islamist extremism, got to do with Muslims who fought in the First and Second World Wars? What do you think this is going to appease the Islamist extremists? A statue that honours Muslims who fought for Great Britain. Why would they even care about that? These are the same kind of people who will literally deface and climb all over British war memorials. <laughs> Lest we forget, there were more British Muslims who joined ISIS than joined the British army. What on earth has it got to do with Gaza? You think the Palestinians, as the bombs rain down on them, will be comforted by the fact there's a memorial to Muslims from a hundred years ago in London? Do parallel ethnic identities and cultural values to that of the English only matter when they can be celebrated at public expense and overlooked when politically inconvenient? The Tories have spent their entire tenure doing favours for people that will never vote for them while ignoring the wishes of those who voted them into power. You're already getting trounced in the polls. A Labour victory is almost inevitable. And you think you're going to reclaim the voters who abandoned you with a Muslim memorial? Councils up and down the country are going bankrupt. And they're going to chuck another million quid at some lame virtue signal. To impress who? The people who hate you anyway. Our hatred for the non-Muslims doesn't stop us from being unjust to them. My argument would be it also doesn't stop us from coexisting with them living in a society with them but i can be in a land where i lived with live with these people but yeah. i have hate for them i don't like them i say that is at, a, at the time that we're living in today it's very very hard to claim that imposing onto you saying that you have to accept the british values and muslims are being put in situations where they're asked are you a muslim first or you're a british first yeah, but these are easy questions to answer. My Muslim first. Like, what's the issue? Then there was this perler. The NHS is rightly the biggest reason most of us are proud to be British. Oh yeah, I don't know about you. But waiting lists, millions of people long. The inability to even get a doctor's appointment. Being told to wait in A&E for eight hours, then being sent home. And dancing nurses taking the piss. <laughs> really is the biggest thing I can think of that makes me proud to be British. <laughs> If you value what I do and you want to help support me, please visit pauljosephwatson.locals.com and either pledge a one-time donation or subscribe to join my community, get early access videos and message me directly. And exclusive live streams coming soon too. Promise. Check out the Locals link down in the description. And don't forget to take a look at the brand new website, modernity.news. That's where you'll find all my content, including exclusive articles. That's modernity.news.